Good morning. This is Frank Taylor with Nature in Your Backyard. This morning I'm excited because on my morning walk I found chanterelle mushroom. And I'm really excited about this because just last week I found jack-o'-lantern fungus and did a episode on that and I talked about how the toxic poisonous jack-o'-lantern mushroom was very very similar to this edible and highly desired and sought after mushroom called the chanterelles. And so I'm gonna do an episode today comparing the chanterelles with the jack-o'-lantern mushroom, an edible species with a toxic species, and explain why you should never, never, never go out and eat mushrooms on your own unless you've learned from a experienced mycologist or mushroom gatherer that you know and if you're a child make sure you do this with an adult and with if you're an adult take care because it's very tricky identifying these so i'll be right back with this episode right here in your backyard you never know what you're gonna find and there's to make this basic it's exhausting Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes of terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. Every morning I walk through the woods near my house and I just never know what I'm going to find. In fact, this morning I saw a box turtle and it identified it as a male and I'll be reporting it to the Virginia Herpetological Society because they're doing a study on box turtles and they want to have people who find them do some reports and tell them what they found, where the box turtle was and what sex it was. But this morning I was walking through down this trail and I saw these mushrooms and I thought, Wow, could it be? Might it be? And yes, I found out that they were in fact chanterelle mushrooms. So how did I know they were chanterelles? Well, they were scattered about and not in a big group, and that's a good indicator because a jack-o'-lantern fungus that looks just like it is always associated in a big group. And I picked one up and turned it over. Can you see those ridges? Those ridges are called false gills because they're not real gills like the gills on other mushrooms or gills on the jack-o'-lantern mushroom. They don't extend all the way down into the stem. So this is actually a chanterelle called the smooth chanterelle. I think it's because of its smooth stem. So a distinguishing feature of the smooth chanterelles are uh, orange color and this lack of true gills underneath. And now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna walk over to the stand of jack-o'-lantern fungus that I found last week and compare these side by side. And I'm just thinking, what a great opportunity to compare these two mushrooms and really learn to identify both. So I'm walking back up through the woods, so excited to be able to show you the difference between chanterelles and the jack-o'-lantern fungus. If you watch my video on jack-o'-lantern fungus, you can see that these have aged quite a bit. And of course, because I'm trying to teach you some biology, I want you to remember that mushrooms are only the fruiting body of a much larger organism. When you see the mushroom, the only thing you're seeing is its reproductive structure. And underneath the ground is this mass of mycelia, which is a, like a, a thread-like mass of interbranching pieces of fungus tissue. While the mushrooms are gonna disappear shortly because the mushroom comes up, it matures, it produces its spores, it releases its spores, and it disappears sometimes till maybe next year or even longer. But during that time, the mushroom, the fungus is living underneath the soil as this mass of mycelia. So here's a jack-o'-lantern fungus. And one of the first things I notice is that there's bugs everywhere here, little gnats and flies as this stuff is starting to rot. And I read that the bioluminescence is about attracting 
insects to the fungus so that the insects can help it spread its spores. So right next to it here, I have the chanterelle mushroom. Then this is the smooth chanterelle and with its false gills. And then looking underneath one of these, you can see that it has very distinct and real gills and the gills go down the sides of the stem as well. And these are not similar in age. This one has a bad smell right now. And so this is a pretty new chanterelle mushroom. It's probably in a edible stage at this point. So here are the two side by side. On the left is the smooth chanterelle. And on the right is the jack-o'-lantern fungus. This is what it looks like from the top. And you can see that they are very similar in color uh, at first glance. So I do want to point out, hey, I'm not a mycologist. I'm not a practicing fungus gatherer. I don't eat mushrooms and I leave that to more expert people. I have lots of kids watching this. I've got children. Hey, if you're a kid or a student, don't go out and try to do this on your own. Mushrooms are so many that are so toxic and it's easy to make a mistake in identification. If you want to learn about mushrooms, there are better sites than this to look at. And also if you're a child or a student, go out with an adult when you do it and go. And if you're an adult, you want to go out with an expert that really, really knows their fungi. And even then sometimes people make mistakes. So even a small amount of fungus, you pick the wrong one, it can be very, very toxic and have really bad effects. So this has been Frank Taylor with Nature in Your Backyard. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. I got episodes coming out every Tuesday and Friday at 9 a.m. I think the fungi are amazing. I love looking at them and their shapes and colors and, and their biological life history properties are sometimes really, really fascinating. Check out my playlist on fungi. I keep adding to it. Thanks for watching.